Hi, Scott Whitley here from Short Scale Bass UK. Hope you're doing well. Today we're going to take a look at this lovely uh, vintage Shaftesbury short scale Telecaster bass. Um, it's from the early 70s, uh, I believe 1973, but that could be um, that could be wrong. That's what was advised when I bought the instrument. Um, they were made in Italy, and this one's in lovely condition, um, considering it's you know what will it be, a 43 year old bass. Um, I'll just get it up to the camera. There's um, you know, there's a little bit of checking here and there on, on the finish. Uh, you know, the scratch plate's slightly warped and there's the odd tiny little crack um, here and there. But it's certainly not from abuse, it's just an age thing. Um, the chrome's in pretty good condition there. Um, so on the back as well, you can see not much to write home about. Very, very good condition for its age. Uh, on the back of the headstock, um, it did say, and you can just about make it out, made in Italy. Um, it's kind of worn away. I think there was a sticker there that someone's tried to remove. The original tunes, everything's, um, as far as I can tell, original. Um, so, <clears throat> what can I tell you about this bass? I've always fancied uh, trying one of these basses. They always looked as if they'd kind of just work, and they really do. I mean, they, they're way beyond my expectations. This particular one, when I when I received it, um, I had to do a few setup jobs on it. Um, First of all, the action was was pretty high, um, so I slightly shimmed the neck. Um, the the bass has a zero fret, okay, which was uh, very high. It's like the fact the frets have been dressed at some point, but not the zero fret. So um, so it was like having a really high uh, cut nut. So that's been sorted out. I filed that down, um, and that's like a nicely well adjusted nut now. It plays really nice down this end. Um, the action's amazing on it. Um, the, um, I was gonna say, yeah, uh, the, 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 the frets, the, uh, they, they seem great. I can't find any real buzzes anywhere, which is great. Um, what can I tell you about the string spacing? Yes, um, the string spacing is extremely narrow in this. It's very similar to, um, if anyone's played like a Hofner violin bass, that kind of thing. Um, there's almost no taper, you know, between the bridge and, and the nut. So it's a kind of Marmite thing. I really, really like it. It makes the right hand extremely fast and, and, and very easy to play. And slap um, uh, playing is, 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 is really easy. It's not, um, I would have thought it might be a problem to get the old finger in there for the pulls, you know, but. Um, but it's not, it's, it's, it's fine. And like I say, uh, it makes for really fast right hand stuff as well, uh, finger, finger style. Um, you've got the original chrome bridge cover there, which is really nice. And controls wise, controls wise, it's like a, a, a Fender Precision, I guess. You know, you've got a volume control, tone control. Uh, and then this really awesome sounding pickup. Um, I mean, it, it's quite blown me away, to be honest. It's, to my ears, it sounds like a split coil pickup. Um, you know, like where you've got two a coil for the G and the D and a coil for the A and the E. I could be completely wrong, it might just be that it just sounds that way, but it's got that real... It sounds really p bassy to me, I've got to say. Uh, more so than ju it just being in that position, you know. So, so let's go through the tone. So I'm going to play it um, wide open, tone wide open, volume up full. Um, say a very very P bass um, 
plenty of high high end information in there for a, for a vintage base. Okay, um, let me roll the tone off. So I'm going to go all the way off. Beautiful kind of... Um, you know, kind of more tiny kind of vibe and and it really works well in between. Really, really cool little bass. Uh, and like, I mean, the harmonic content. It's amazing. And great sustain as well. Let's just um, give you a bit of pick playing with it. Let's try that. Some different um, different rhythms. Here we go. Uh, let's speed that up a little bit. Try a bit of blues. Let's, uh, let's see how it works for that kind of thing. Here we go. Um... So there you go, the Shafts Re Short Scale Telecaster Bass. If you're interested, just give us a shout, drop us a line, and um, there you go. See you in the next video. Cheers.